One last item on the strong force answers the question I raised at the end of our segment on the atom. What holds the protons together in the nucleus? In 1934, the Japanese physicist Hadaki Yakawa made the earliest attempt to explain the nature of the nuclear force. According to his theory, a particle was being shared between nucleons like molecules share electrons between atoms to bind them together. He even calculated the mass of this particle we now know as a pion. The shared particle is attached to both protons. The situation is similar to two people pulling on a ball. Each person exerts a force on the ball, and the effect is as if each exerted a force on the other. Here's a two-proton example of how we think it works. First, in one of the protons, an energetic gluon spontaneously creates a down quark anti down quark pair. Next, the pion drifts into the other proton, and the anti down quark annihilates a down quark, leaving the other down quark to take its place. The diameter of the proton is 1.662 femtometers. At a separation of less than a half a femtometer, the nuclear force is repulsive. This prevents nucleon collapse. It then becomes attractive over a short range, peaking at 1.3 femtometers, with a force much stronger than the electromagnetic repulsion. And it becomes negligible by around 3 femtometers, where the electromagnetic repulsion takes over.